How's it going? Garrett here with CSI to show you how to install a bump rubber and cup on the new style double adjustable where uh, both adjusters are on the rod end. So you need a three quarter inch wrench. Make sure your adjusters are backed off to full soft. Break that free. When you screw this out, the metering rods stay connected to the rod end. So be careful just to pull them straight out. And then from there, everything else is going to be the same. Um, put your bump rubber on. Put your cup on. Make sure to get the jam nut all the way back up the shaft. And then when you reinstall this, you just slide those guys back in. And you'll screw the rod end all the way up the shaft like you would on a single adjustable. The biggest difference is once it's tight, you're going to back it off half and then three quarters of a turn. That will get everything where it needs to be. Put it back in the vise. Jam it up. And then um, you can put your bump rubber back up on, but at that point, all your adjusters should turn nice and free. Um, should be no issues there. If for some reason, one of your adjusters gets jammed up, or you're unsure uh, if you got it exactly three quarters of a turn off, break it loose, just start the process over. Um, in the end, you should have detents all the way to full stiff, and then your first click out should be a detent. That's a good... A good check to make sure everything is where it needs to be, but pretty simple. Just make sure that you um, don't bend those metering rods when you pull them out. They're fairly robust. You'd have to drop your rod in or step on it or do something crazy to uh, to damage them, but just, just be careful with them.